this feels like a, a long way to go for a Six Nations game, two week build up. Are you just excited to get started now? Yeah, it is. It's, um, you know, it's, it's been a, a long two weeks that's flown by, really. It's been. Uh, it's been great. It's been enjoyable. You know, being back in with the boys, uh, a real buzz around the place. You know, regional performances have picked up since the autumn. Some you know good performances by the by the teams in in Europe. Um, so it, it's added a little bit of momentum. Um, there's a spring in every step, and yeah, the boys have worked really hard over the last two weeks and just looking forward to getting out there now and, and getting stuck into the the best team in the world. Externally, Ireland will be fancied uh, tomorrow. Do you mind that? No, you know, and, and quite rightly so. They they they'll be fancied. They um, you know, they've been the top team in the world for probably the last two years. Um, the way they play their game, you know, it's 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 high tempo. Everybody's on the same page, and and they got threats right across the park. So you know, they they will be coming here as favourites. I think, you know, everybody's writing us off as a as a team, um, but we know what we expect. Uh, from ourselves um, as a squad, as individuals, and um, and it's up to us uh, to deliver on the hard work uh, that we've put in over the last two weeks. What is it that you expect from yourselves? Um, consistency, definitely. We, we've asked uh, for clarity from from the coaches. Uh, they've delivered that, and and that um, you know will hopefully allow us to bring uh, you know a really consistent performance with you know plenty of physicality um, you know we're, we're gonna we're gonna need to be on our money defensively and you know and make and be a real t tough team to beat uh, we're gonna be a work in progress early on but you know there's enough quality and experience in the side um, you know for us to turn up tomorrow and, and deliver a performance and, and hopefully that'll be good enough for us to get a get a W. Over the last decade or so Wales Island games have Seem to have become a really intense rivalry. Have you sensed that as players as well? Yeah, I think so, and I think that's that's down to uh, the respect we have uh, for each other as, as players. Um, you know, get to know them on on Lions tour, and obviously with uh, the URC, we play we play against them, you know, fairly regularly. So we get we get to know them as well, and I, I think the reason there's uh, always an edge to it is is because the quality of the two teams, and obviously the respect that we we have for each other. Um, and yeah, nothing will change uh, tomorrow. Ken, you captain in Wales for the first time in Cardiff tomorrow. What do you think it's going to be like? Um, no, it's going to be exciting. Uh, really looking forward uh, to the opportunity. Um, probably haven't thought massively about it because it's just been sort of cracking on with the the day to day workings of uh, of getting to training and and getting my own house in order first. But I think. Pretty lucky we've got a, a strong and experienced leadership group uh, within the squad um, that have been pretty settled for a long time now and we all know each other's roles and strengths and weaknesses and, and everybody sort of backs up and backs each other up and, and supports each other so no, nothing's changed in that respect but now I'm looking forward to the opportunity to, to lead in Wales out for the first time. Family and friends here to mark the occasion, you looking forward to that? Yeah I'm sure they'll all be up and, and enjoying Enjoy in the day. It'll be up early, early kick off anyway. So it'll be it's strange. Right. Alan Wynn will be on the other side of you. Normally you've been sort of on his right inside when he had the anthem and things. Yeah, it'd be slightly strange. I think um, the nicest thing. Uh, well, uh, when when he was announced as captain, Alan was probably the first person to message me and, and just said, you know, congratulations, and it's, it's my turn to support support you know uh, support you now like you supported me, and I think that's uh, the closeness we got within the squad and. And obviously we we've been together a long time and we all respect each other and, and work hard for each other and support each other, you know, for the better betterment of the team. It's been a difficult couple of weeks off the field for Welsh rugby. What would be your message to the players when you get on it tomorrow? I, I think we you know, it's obviously disappointing with, with what's come out of the last two weeks. Um but for us the only thing we can control tomorrow is is a performance. Um to put pride back into the, the Welsh shirt, uh, after, you know, it's been a, a tough uh, couple of years with consistency, uh, but I think it's put a bit of pride back into the shirt and, and put a bit of pride and respect back into Welsh rugby. And I think the only only way we can do that as players is by uh, uh, deliver delivering a performance that's uh, worthy for the the red shirt. Good luck, Mark. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Ken, can I just ask, please, your your thoughts on the Irish team? Um, obviously, a big rest tag for a long period of rest. Yeah, you know, uh, there's no no surprises. Um, 
You know, they they got absolute quality and strength and depth. You know, they, they will obviously miss um, someone like Tyke. He's a you know he's a quality uh, tight dead prop. You know, the cornerstone of their pack. Um, not just scrummaging wise, but what he offers uh, ball carrying and defensively as well. So he, he will he will be a huge loss. But I think where Ireland have developed over the years and and as a result of their success is the depth they got and you know, played a lot against Finley um, Finley Beelham over the years and he's a you know, he's a quality player, and I'm sure he'll he'll step up. Um, so for for us as the Welsh team, our preparation hasn't changed. We haven't spoken about you know personnel much because because of the depth that they have and and the interchangeable of of personnel. So you know he he will probably be a loss for them, but you know I'm sure Finley's looking forward to taking his opportunity. Uh, so for for us as a squad, uh, our approach and our preparation hasn't changed at all. Yeah, we've um, yeah. Jo Johnny's a, an absolute outstanding world class out and half for a start and and leader. And we've we've had some battles over the years between Scarlett and Leinster when uh, we I've been captain of Scarlett and he's been captain of Leinster and uh, always enjoy that challenge of of playing against the best in the world and uh, he's a real competitor. Uh, so it's going to be a you know a, a, a tough day and sort of decision making on that side of it. But no, I'm looking forward to just getting out there now and. Uh, and make sure we get a performance. Okay, well, just two final questions um, on Sinead. And you mentioned there, you know, that I come over here as favourites, you know, um, that you've been written off. It's almost all set up for you with Warren back, you know, to bring out the best in him. Oh, there's definitely some storylines out there that, that people will talk about. Um, yeah, you know, I think there will be some mind games that people talk There's There's mind games, but you know, we can't get away from the fact that Ireland are the number one ranked side in the world and, and, and probably favourites for, for their Six Nations. and. You know, we've, uh, we've had a bit of chop and change. You know, obviously Gats coming in, new coaches, some new players coming in. Um, I think we got a lot of experience out there, um, and for for us, you know, the, perhaps the pr the pressure is off externally, but I think internally we we do put a lot of pressure on ourselves to perform because we we know our ability as a squad. Uh, so there's going to be a couple of subplots, I'm sure, that people are going to talk about over the next 24 hours. Um, the roof's not going to be one for a change, which which would be quite <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think I think it's it's a bit of a non-event. It's a bit of fun. We we sort of were happy with whatever decision was made. You know, it's um, I think it's a fantastic stadium. Uh, you know, the roof does does keep the noise in a little bit, um, but it's been open and the, the Welsh crowd do uh, do manage to keep the noise levels right up there. So I, you know, it's a bit of a non-event. But I think um, there'll be plenty spoken about for the next twenty-four hours. But I think. It's just going to be a great test match tomorrow. We're going to put pressure on ourselves to perform and deliver a performance. Put pride back in the shirt, and you know, and I'm sure Ireland will want to do the same. And there'll be uh, 80 minutes of, uh, of 23 men going hard at, at each other, trying to get a W. Okay, thanks everyone. Yeah.